Hi, this is Max. Today I want to show you how you can create and animate Maya cameras in VR with Marui plugin. So here I have the Maya scene in which I want to add an animated camera. I start Marui, put on my VR headset and jump into my Maya scene in VR. Almost all common VR headsets are supported. I'm using the Oculus Quest 2 here which has the benefit that I can use it wirelessly with Oculus Air Link. So I can walk around freely in my play area without worrying about cables. So first I want to create a camera. For this I'm using the POV camera tool. I'm switching to the lighting rendering UI, hold Alt, open the UI layout menu and select lighting rendering. Here I have the lighting rendering menu on the left controller. And in it I have the POV camera tool. With the tool selected I can just hold the controller trigger to draw a frame. And when I release the trigger a new Maya camera will be created exactly with that field of view. I can even use both controllers to draw the frame and I can use the shift button to rotate the frame. Now probably you will have some requirements for your camera such as aspect ratio. This can be set in the tool settings of the POV camera tool. Select the small wrench icon of the tool and the tool settings appear. Here I can force a specific aspect ratio. Now next time I use the tool a red inner frame will indicate the actual field of view. In the tool settings I can also choose to create a camera aim or up and even use the aim to control the focus distance. This is a normal Maya camera, so I can open the Maya attribute editor and edit any of the more advanced camera features such as depth of field. Of course now I want to see what the camera sees. This is done with a cam view. With the camera selected I click on the cam view icon in the lighting rendering menu and a new window opens which will show me the camera's view. The title bar of the cam view offers a few very helpful buttons. The first one controls the refresh rate. The next button locks the cam view window to the camera. This way if I move the camera the window will move with it. The next button changes the shading mode that the camera view uses. So you can turn textures or wireframe on or off. The next button does the same for lighting. Either use Maya default lighting, all lights in the scene or only selected lights. The next button scales the cam view window and the last button closes it. Now that we know what the camera sees we can go about animating it. The fastest way to animate a camera is to use motion capture to record motion in real time. Switch to the mocap UI layout. Here I have two widgets on my controller buttons to toggle attaching the selected object to each controller. So I can select the camera and activate the attachment on one controller. Hitting the widgets again will detach the object again. Note that if I created a camera with an aim controller, just moving the camera doesn't affect the aim controller. For this the whole camera group must be selected, which I can do in the Maya outliner or by just opening the selection menu and clicking the select group parent item. If you're controlling the focus distance with the other hand, you may run into issues where the target is too far away. Here you can use the controller offset feature to project your controller forward. Just hold the widget to separate your real controller from the projection 
and tap the widget to toggle the projection on or off. Or of course you can just ignore the focus distance for now and animate it separately later. While I have the camera attached to my controllers, I might find that the controller models get in the way. But I can just hide them in the Marui menu under VR options. Before I record any animation though, I first want to set some details about the motion capture. The top half of the dialog is the type of attachment. For example, I could decide whether to only capture position without rotation or whether to keep the relative offset. Below that I can add smoothing to my tracking or what you would call image stabilization in a real camera. Positional smoothing is useful to eliminate vibrations. And rotational smoothing works like having a camera mounted on a gimbal gyroscope. If a smoothing value of 10 is not strong enough, you can just click in the number field and add a higher number from the numpad. Below I can set the recording speed. A value of 1 means recording will be in real time. To give myself more time, I can set this to 0.5 or lower to slow down time during recording. Below you can set how many keyframes will be skipped before the next key is recorded. With this setup, I attach the camera to my controllers again. And I use the recording button to start the motion capture. Hit the recording button again to stop the recording. And detach the camera from the controllers. Now if you use the time slider, you can see that we recorded keyframes for the camera in real time. Now I want to refine the motion a bit. Of course I could edit the keyframes directly, but an easier way to do this are Maya's animation layers. Open the window manager and there open the channel box layer editor. At the bottom switch to the anim tab. With the camera selected, click on the new layer from selected button. Now I have a second layer on which I can animate over the motion tracking without losing it. The first thing I want to do is choose the frames where I'm happy with the camera animation. On these frames I use the zero key button to set a key that ensures the original is preserved. Then I can find the frames where I'm unhappy with the camera motion and adjust the camera. Here I'm using the Omni tool. You can see the difference by toggling the Mute Layer button. This way I can conveniently fine tune the animation. And that's it, thank you for watching.